Hi, this is Sean from Protect the Trust again, and I wanted to make a quick video about a new feature that's been added to attack simulation training in the Microsoft 365 Defender Portal. Um, in a previous video, we talked about uh, the attack simulation training, which in the 365 Defender Portal at security.microsoft.com, if you went under the email and collaboration heading, uh, then under attack simulation training, you would be provided with uh, the ability to create phishing campaigns against your users uh, that will basically uh, send an email to the user and it tries to convince them to do something like, you know, hand over their 365 credentials. And if you capture those credentials or, you know, depending on what the user does, it, it will automatically assign that user uh, training. Very handy feature. Um, there's been a new feature added to attack simulation training that allows you to create ad hoc trainings. So instead of performing a phishing campaign against your users in order for them to receive a training, you can instead just assign them the training. Very, very handy feature. Um, and again, that's uh, in attack simulation training uh, under the new training tab that appears right here. So under training, if we went in here and said create new, we can give it a campaign. I'm going to just say, you know, example, cam, pain, USB stick. That's a hint about what we're going to make the campaign about. Uh, or or name this phishing campaign or this training campaign, I suppose it is. Uh, in this case, uh, I'm going to only assign it to a single user. But, you know, we could, for example, include all of the users in the organization. In this case, I'm just going to add one user um, but bear in mind you could uh, use the filtering here to you know say you know everyone in a, a particular city or that are in a particular department uh, or have a particular title um, you could just assign things automatically to certain types of users in your organization in this case uh, i'm just going to assign it to a single user we're going to say that adele needs to receive this training we're going to add that one user and say next we have the ability to exclude users. So if you wanted to include everyone in your organization, for example, but you wanted to leave out uh, all of your IT people, then you could you know, include everyone in the organization, but exclude you know, a certain distribution list and a certain group of users. Once we select next, then we get to the, the, the really neat part, the training modules. So we're gonna use the default training catalog, uh, which has all of the Microsoft produced uh, training uh, features that are here. I'm gonna select add trainings. And when we do that, you'll notice that we have a number of trainings that were available in, um, in the phishing campaign portion of attack simulation training. So for example, if you have a user that for some reason maybe ignored uh, uh, the, 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 the multiple requests to perform training in a, a previous phishing campaign, uh, you could reassign them training using this feature, for example. Um, and th this will have you know all of those same uh, uh, training features in it, but it also has a lot of other uh, 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 training in here for things like, you know, cloud computing and data leakage, um, physical security. And the one that I wanted to look at here was risky USB. So like if, um, I want to make sure that my users aren't just picking up random USB drives that they find in the parking lot and plug it into their computer to see what's on it. And, you know, that's a terrible idea. We definitely don't want to do that. And this, uh, this training would explain to them that it's a bad idea and why. Um, if you select this, it's also going to give you this little flyout that kind of gives you some information about it, but it also gives you the ability to preview the training. So if you wanted to take a look at a training yourself before assigning it to a user, this would be a way to do that. And when you click on preview, it basically takes you to the same kind of training that they would receive. So it gets a little bit of information about it. You hit start, and then it starts with the videos that, you know, it explains why uh, picking up a USB drive in the hallway uh, and plugging it in is a terrible idea. So, so that's the, the training that we're going to assign to this user. I'm going to say add. So now that training will get assigned. I'm going to say next. 
and you'll notice uh, end user notifications. This is going to be very similar to what you would uh, to, to one of the options that you would get when assigning um, a phishing campaign against the users. In this case, um, they're going to receive it immediately, so this isn't going to be applicable, but we want to send them reminders and I'm going to send them twice a week just to be persistent. So now that you user is going to receive reminders uh, twice a week that they need to uh, that they need to do this training. Once I select next here, it's going to take me to the schedule uh, campaign end date. I'm going to give this user a week to do this training. And I'll just say it'll be you know, one o'clock p.m. Say next. This will be uh, a review of what we're creating, and then we'll submit it. Once we submit that, um, <clears throat> because we sent it to happen immediately, almost immediately, definitely within the next uh, 15 minutes or so, that user should receive an email that uh, asks them to perform this training. And as an admin, we could just go look at that real quick. I can see if it's there. So. If I log in as myself, I should just now be able to, because I'm a global administrator, I can go in and sign in as another mailbox. Oops. Open another mailbox. So we're going to go just look in that mailbox and, oh, oh well. I was hoping we could view it. Apparently it doesn't want to allow us to do that today. In any case, so that user should have received an email almost immediately uh, that asks them to perform the training. When they go in there, um, it's going to uh, give them the training. And that's pretty much it. It's a, it's a very, very handy feature, uh, especially if you want to, uh, want to uh, just uh, perform security trainings of, of, of many different types for your users. Um, I don't recall if I just mentioned this. There's also um, there's also some very useful trainings that you might want to include just for your IT staff. So I don't recall if this organization has IT. Yeah, so we'll say we're going to apply it to the IT admin folks. So that's going to be Alan. So. <coughs> We're not going to exclude anybody. And again, in the training modules, if we scroll down to the very bottom, this is where, where that feature is located. Once those trainings come up. Down here at the very bottom of that list, there are some, uh, there are some features for IT administrators. So, uh, you know, an, an introduction, you know, core credentials of cybersecurity, security program management, uh, data protection, sample attacks, etc. So all kinds of very useful trainings uh, for you to perform against your own IT staff. Um, very, very handy feature. So that's, uh, that's pretty much it. So if we, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just finish that up real quick. So we'll say again, twice a week. Uh, I'm not going to send this one with an end date and we're going to submit it. So then again, you know, that user almost immediately should receive an email saying, take this training. So this is an extremely helpful feature. If you wanted to, you know, just perform some security trainings for your end users, um, or if you wanted to uh, send somebody a retraining, if they, you know, happen to ignore, uh, the, the requests, uh, from a, a phishing campaign and that's it. So have a good day.